So what steps should a system take to validate a JSON Web Token, also known as a JOT? Well, the first thing it needs to do is validate the signature. And so that would involve looking at the header of the JOT, seeing what algorithm it was signed with, looking at the key identifier, and then finding that key and validating that the uh, contents of the JOT were unchanged, were not tampered with. This is something that you're typically going to rely on a library to do, or you can reach out to uh, one of the many open source libraries implemented in many languages. You probably shouldn't validate the signature on your own. The next thing you need to do is validate claims, and this is very important. So you wanna make sure that when you pull apart the payload, you're not just validating the signature, but you're checking other claims to ensure that they are values that you expect. So there's three main claims you're going, you're going to want to validate. The first is the issuer. So this is who created the JSON Web Token. Now, you just want to make sure that you're not getting a JSON Web Token from some other source that you don't expect. The actual value of that issuer claim could be a URL, it could be a UID, you don't really care as a consumer, you just need to make sure that you and the identity provider, whoever's generating this JSON Web Token, agree on what a valid issuer value is. The next is the expiration time, and this is actually is something that most libraries will provide. They will, when you're validating a JSON Web Token, if that JSON Web Token is expired, they will treat that as an invalid J JSON Web Token you want to make sure that the expiration time is in the future and if there is an NBF claim that that is in the past so that you're basically within the, the time that this JSON Web Token is valid. And this is the number of seconds since the Unix Epic. The third claim that you really need to validate is the odd claim. The odd claim answers the question, who is this JOT created for? So you could imagine that you might have a identity provider, a JOT creator, an issuer that creates JOTs for service A and service B and service C. And those should all be tagged with different audiences because the information in a JOT, uh, the claims, the roles, all this information in a JOT is really specific to the service that is going to be consuming that JOT. And what you don't want to have happen is have an attacker pick up a JOT that was created for service A and present it to service B and have service B process it and pass it through those microservices behind it and then have there be a bug exposed or an escalation of privilege. The admin role might mean different things for service A than it would for service B. The other claims you need to validate very much in a domain-specific manner, right? You might have certain roles that you require being a JSON Web Token before you allow access to certain functionality. So that is validating the claims of a JSON Web Token.